So your parents didn't believe in a theater career, career or? No, not back then. And they, you know, it would have been, only a crazy person would believe a theater career for an Asian in, Can in Toronto, in Canada, was feasible. Like, so what do they want you to be? You know, doctor is good. Lawyer, doctor or lawyer, or even teacher is okay. <laughs> and are you an only child? No, I have two brothers. And were, did so, they become doctors and lawyers and yes. teachers? My, my second brother became a doctor. Uh, he's a pediatrician, and my third brother did. He did the. He went to UTS, did an Ivy League school, did postgraduate, and has a degree uh, in poli sci and engineering, and did some kind of post postgraduate work at the John F. Kennedy School of Public Policy, and he ended up working for a multinational <coughs> consulting firm. Um, so it's only the daughter who went wayward yeah. into the arts. Yeah. So my youngest brother, Danny, he uh, had a terrible head injury and was uh, on disability for quite a while. And while he was on disability, he picked up a camera and then made a feature film, which ended up an indie feature film. Like he shot, he could only shoot four hours a, a, a day or so before his headaches would get so bad. So it took him a year to shoot it. Um, but he ended up, it ended, it's called Post Concussion. It ended up doing the indie Asian film circuit and a couple of other I I film festivals. And he's, as a result, he won five acres of land in Taos, New Mexico at the Talking, <laughs> Talking Pictures Film Festival, beating out the Sundance winner that year. He couldn't get into Sundance, didn't have the connection. And they gave him five acres of land? He has five acres of land in Taos, New Mexico. I think that they're talking about digging a well. I don't know if he's done it or not. And but, how long did it take for your parents to to think, okay, so the arts is a legitimate activity for our daughter? I think for my my parents, um, there was a... When I, well, I went away to China, I taught English. I went back, taught English. And somewhere along the line, they realized that my journey was going to be, like, very circuitous, but at the same time, it was kind of exciting, even for them.